Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Obviously Jason's already up on the roof tied in with the harness. Uh, he's used to that kind of stuff. He's a rock climber. What we're going to do today is we have a water diverter where the flashing meets the fascia board and everything is combined where water's entering. So I'm going to come up this ladder here and show you how we fix this. Of course I've already been here to take a peek at it and see what the heck is going on and I've come to the conclusion along with the homeowner she says well birds are pecking in there and it looks like the birds ate through the stucco actually the birds can't eat through this stucco it's a three coat conventional st uh, systems which means it's stucco so birds can't eat through it but what we have here is we got a hole here now I can stick a couple of my fingers in there it is deep what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that hole. Now what you can't see over here is the fascia board's on properly. It's cut back papers underneath it. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to shoot in some really good polyurethane caulking. This is the best caulking that I'm aware of. I've cut it, cut the tip off real tight and it allows me to really get in here. So far it's taken quite a bit of this polyurethane caulking. This stuff is the best caulking that I've ever used. I've been using it for years. Okay, we're gonna simply get, get in there the best we can and fill that guy. Uh, of course, uh, this particular caulking, they say three eighths of an inch thick max. What happens if you put it like I'm doing over an inch? Nothing. It just uh, takes a little bit longer to dry. So, okay, now that we got that humongous a whole tube in there um, caulked well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this stucco over it now it took me longer to match this finish than to actually do this patch I'm just gonna put this directly over the polyurethane caulking and that's only because the caulking that'll last a good 50 years but with a little cementitious finish over it it's not gonna hurt now, if you know what you're looking for, folks, as far as uh, what the heck is going on here, that's half the battle as far as finding the problem. I know from my past experience that you've got to have your flashings in order. Step flashing, diverter, gutters, everything is, is just how it's supposed to be. But I've also had 15 guys on my crew. Uh, many years I've had 10, 15 guys in the uh, early 90s, late 80s. Uh, so I know all about when you have about, oh, 15 guys, sometimes things get missed. Everybody just wants to go home. So anyway, that's how this little uh, situation got started. Somebody just wanted to go home and it was a big company and they missed it but the house is only 10 years old. It should not be leaking as, uh, it's, it's just too new. Anyhow, there's the patch working. Now what I'm gonna do lastly, guys, is take this float. And again, this color here is gonna dry a lot lighter when it dries. It's gonna match their finish. Now that matches their texture. By the way, the only one that could see up here are the birds. Anyhow, this is the backyard. You couldn't see this from downstairs if you tried. However, my truck allows me to have all the tools and colors and cements necessary to match the majority of this. And by the way, guys, I've seen this on email. She sent me a color email and I thought, oh, gee, I can fix that. That's a pretty simple fix. And I was able to determine the color and cause and all that stuff just from an email. Now look at that guys, it took me longer to set this ladder up here than to actually come up here and do the work. Anyhow, Jason's going to go ahead and release himself from that nightmare harness. Uh, I'd rather be doing this than on top where he is. Anyhow folks, you guys see how easy it is if you know what caused it and how to fix it. My name is Kirk, I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We thank you for watching and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next fix.